All right, this yak is going to be a very special yak indeed. Welcome back to Runex. You can tell what's happening here by the fact I have all my Slayer Helms in my inventory, right? Ah, at long, long, long last. Let's get a good look at this. The fused Slayer Helm is ours. Ten accuracy and everything, seven prayer, three strength. Honestly, pretty good defensive bonuses. And I have to do some more Slayer. Um, so, I've been watching Brett's series, Wet Wizards, Iron Man series, and he's kind of, indir like, not shown me, but shown that there's actually a really good, really easy to get item in the Karatsi jungle that is super, super, super convenient. Uh, it's basically the Demonic Totem, but it actually works for Venom, and it has really good stat bonuses. Why do I not have boots on? But, um... The problem with this is... I still need to grind out 200 Slayer points. <laughs> uh, technically, I'm going to need another Fused Helm, but that's just going to happen naturally through doing Boss Slayer. Um, just so that I have, you know, boosted drop rates, boosted, um... You know, the 20% damage boost... Uh, this is super handy for things that aren't Slayer related, though, because it is an untradeable helm and a kick-ass one at that um, for all styles. So I can actually use this with, like, Mystics, um, a Catalytic Rune Patch when I finally get around to getting that, and I can, like, barrage things in the wilderness. But, um, yeah, I want to get the Jungle Totem, because that is going to make raids super convenient, because I guess Ulm Venoms, uh, because I have the Lava Pendant as well. Um, there's also, of course, the Falconer's Glove and all the crap the Karate Demon can drop. You know, he drops the, uh... Ogre boots, uh, like the jungle casket, the sun spear, uh, and then there's the jungle dragon that drops, uh, you know, sacks of riches, caskets, it can drop the DFS apparently, jungle titan drops, jungle Titan drops Amethyst stuff? Uh, the Karatsi Spear, which is a huge thing. The Karatsi Armor Set. Why is the Spear on there twice? It's a rare and a common. But, um, yeah, the Karatsi is obscenely good in for range. Like, it's armor that gives a range strength bonus. <laughs> Which, I don't know why it's not in max range strength for this. But yeah, I need to grind out 200 more Slayer points. Uh, I, I think it's like 250. I'm going to go actually 300 just to be safe because it's easy tasks anyway. Uh, and then it's going to be grinding 1500. Uh, yeah, 1500. What is it? Trading sticks. And I believe I have two free entries. In, oh, what? Uh, 
Fairy Ring, teleport to Grazi with the scroll bonus. Oh. Oh, you get infinite entries. To, okay. Uh, I mean, I might as well go for the Fairy Ring, because why would I care about the Spirit Tree? Uh... Yeah, let me just go grab the money for that. Uh, I think that was 35 mil. Um, I also have a medium task scroll I got on like the second to last Slayer task. That's where Slayer Diamond Plate Body, finally something I have. Three Slayer Tasks, 17 Dragon Meds. I just have to go to Steel Dragons for a bit, because Dragon Meds are super common there. Alright. I would just go straight for the Spirit Tree and Fairy Ring, because that's a free Narda run every day. Well, technically two every day, but... Uh, but uh, you did a hammer and sub. <laughs> Ain't a game and I like to nag you. <laughs> hammer Saw come on. You're extending this clip way too long, game. Boom. I've got the fairy ring. So now that's easy uh grazy stuff. So yeah. I'm going to enjoy this Slayer Helm by doing even more Slayer. God god damn it. Gotta get the recorder up when I kill a superior and get nothing. Awesome. Alright, so I did go ahead and grind out the rune coins and the trading sticks. Uh, wow, really? It's, it costs 25 just to go into the bank so I can withdraw them. Okay. Uh, clearly, I'm not super used to the Karazi Jungle minigame. Uh, I also do want to get, of course, the uh, Falconry Glove, which is another 1500 sticks, but. That's super easy to get. It's just kind of a grind. Uh, it's also going to take some extra sticks to get into the Slayer Master's Hut, but oh well. Come on. You get like three for each log. So yeah, it is. It's a grind. And there's a 30 minute cooldown if you don't use the um, teleport, like the chest or anything. Or the fairy ring. Or the scroll. Alright. So my current issue is I don't know how many I need to grind out real quick to get in. I probably should not have started opening this clip yet, but oh well. Oh, it's just another 25. Easy. I am actually going to be upset if it's like, oh, it's actually 2,000 or something, and I just missed that part of Brett's video. Uh, I upgraded to an, a Jade Machete because I figure there's no point in spending the extra sticks on the topaz machete because you get one as a task reward um if you want to um have items persist between runs you just throw them into the storage chest uh they're all over the normal jungle area Give me trading sticks. Give me useful supplies. A 
Snellm. Good. I did get some food, though, so I can't be too upset. Alright, come on already. I like how they make sure to put it in an inconvenient place where there aren't actually any trees to convert into sticks. That's that's good design. Making things intentionally irritating. It is a PvP minigame though, so that's pretty par for the course. Uh, this video really is, like I know I said, oh after I get my fused I'm going to spend time skilling. This is going to be getting some grindy items aside from skilling. Uh, so I'm gonna get this. Probably gonna get a... just grind out the freaking uh, chompy hat. Just because... why not at this point? Alright, enters the hut. Trade. Jungle Totem. 250 Slayer points and 1500 trading six. Boom! Uh, if I go into trade, hover over, provides poison and venom immunity when equipped. So this thing is badass. And look at those freaking offensive stats. It adds range strength. 15 in all accuracies, 10 in all defenses. It is obscene. Oh, I got another Shiloh tab, so I'm just going to go ahead and get the sticks to throw that into my uh, trading post. Or not trading post. Um, uh, safety chest. And I'm not sure what item comes next after this. Uh, Let's see, is there anything in here that's, like, something I could just grind, I guess, besides the chompy hat? I'd love to get the spear, but it's a super rare drop from the demon, which I... After I get the falcon... No, done. I'm gonna grind the falconry glove next. Um, but after the falconry glove... Uh, that's when my Karazi runs will be, you know, actually focused on getting the gear to fight the Karazi demon. Farm that out. Alright, see you in the next clip. I have not left the Karazi jungle since the last clip. I'm convinced I never have to leave, but I definitely want to. That, I have 1,500 trading sticks. Oh my god. Uh, I can buy the falconry glove. Finally. That is a 1,000 rune coins when I hit 99 hunter. But until then, that's being able to just left click and catch Jinchampas. Oh my god, I need that so bad. But I'm not done yet. For 2,500 trading sticks, I can get the Karamja Gloves 3, which boosts Spear and Hosta damage by 15%. You know why Spears and Hostas are important? I need this for the Corporeal Beast grind. Uh, I also got a Grok headdress, which I think is like the Hunter XP outfit. Uh, here's a look at my storage chest, by the way. It's actually kind of a badass little storage chest right now. Uh, really, all I want is more snakeskin and more bolt rune arrows and rune bolts. And I'll feel comfortable doing demon runs. Alright, uh, I'm gonna pop open this chest in case of rune arrows and stuff. Nope. Um, absolutely nothing I care about. So I'm just going to home teleport out. 
because oh my god oh I need a screenshot of those three items that is going to be the thumbnail to this video oh I spent all day grinding those well not all day all day but like my entire login session was those Oh my god, but uh, this makes Zolra awesome. Hopefully it actually works for, uh, 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 um, what is it? Lizardman Shamans. But my god, was that a grind. I only have to do it one more time for the uh, Karamdra gloves, and after that it is just, you know... Bouncing between the chests and then killing the, um, killing mobs and gearing up for demon runs. Oh, that is so good to have. I do think at this point I might as well, why do I, I guess I can hold on to these trading sticks. They can go in the currency tab, uh, up with the other currencies. But, uh, I guess at this point, I might as well start on my maxing grind. Um, I could do Narda runs if I really wanted to, but I, I don't. <laughs> uh, so, huh. I think I'm gonna go ahead and start with... Smithing. That's what I want to use my XP scrolls on, is smithing, because <laughs> it is so slow even on this server. And I can only do about half of my rune bars, which is fun. But, uh, yeah. I actually do have a bunch of skilling points, too, though. Uh, so let's... Yeah, just from boxes, I have 144 skilling points. Um, no, that's not the thing. Uncharged Astral Shards. Uh, let's see. I need four Uncharged Astral Shards. I think. I hope it's only four. God, I hope it's only four. One, two, three, eight, twelve. Oh my god, it's twelve. Holy crap. Okay. I thought it was a one per, but. Let's see. That's fifty and a uh, one fifty. I might as well go for the Skiller's Tome one, though, just because. It's another item for XP. Uh, I'll go ahead and keep that in here. So, overall... Just for generic experience, I have... Really, I have to be in the... So that's five... 25, 30. Yeah, I have 32% bonus XP without even throwing on this. Um, well, 135 with how the XP scroll actually works. Alright, time to liquidate my uh, smithing supplies then. I am fighting valiantly through some terrible lag right now, but with the next inventory of mithril plate bodies we will be earning our first 99 of the video 99 smithing all right that is actually like the worst one down besides agility um <clears throat> rune crafting is going to be super easy because i have the premium banker um, farming, same thing. Fire making is fire making. Uh, hunter, I have the falconry glove. Construction might be annoying. I might have to actually cut some mahogany's. But, uh, 
the last skill we're gonna 99 is probably gonna be a ranging just because I well I'll have Chinchampa so we might be able to just do some bandits for that oh my god uh so I'm probably going to I don't know. Oh, Jesus Christ. I really need to sort out my bank space issue. I mean, that's part of the maxing thing is clearing bank space, but... Alright, uh... Let's, let's, let's go ahead and... Well, I need one of each of these anyway for when I do my torso stuff. I do have a plan for, um... how I'm going to handle that particular grind. But uh, that's for probably next time. Come on. Selling this is going to be a pain. <laughs> uh, I guess that goes to the skilling tab. <sighs> trying to think what else I can do to clean out the bank a bit. <laughs> Uh, decant potions. Uh, I'll probably do some rune coining too. I just kind of want to see. I like selling stuff on camera. It's just. I don't know. I like showing the cash roll in. I'm just gonna keep clicking through the lag. It'll work eventually. Five hundred K just from that. I like that I get a couple mil whenever I'm cleaning out my bank. All right. So let's do some ring coining while we're here. All right. So two dragon boots. Uh, one Varak flail. Oh, I have more stuff I need to sell. Oof. Uh, one whip. Holding on to those because I don't know how many I'm going to need. Uh, what I'm going... I guess I can talk about it now. There's no real reason to be secretive about it. Uh, ooh, I should go buy Zerker next, too. Uh, yeah, give me my Tokel. Come on. And I should probably throw on my Ring of Greed. Any game? Fight caves. I know, technically I could get the cursed stuff, but I really don't care about it. <laughs> Alright. I'm really curious how much I'm going to get out of this. Exchange. Uh, 
Wow. A thousand freaking rune coins. That is awesome. Come on. You know the struggle now. So I am up to 2,300 uh, rune coins. Uh, so that is pretty awesome. All right, that goes in here too. So I'm gonna go grind out some more uh, agility, agility, right. That's what I was going to do. For this, tokens are lost, I think. But the catalyst tokens are so good. Uh, do I have any mystic tokens or anything? If not, I'll just use uh, double XP scrolls. No big deal. Oh yeah. Yeah, I am just using those because agility sucks. All right, been chatting up with the Slayer here, and we are about to hit with two more herbs. Ninety-nine farming. I decided to use my Skiller tokens because I'm not going to use them anywhere else. Might as well. Another seed. Torstals are obscene amounts of XP, by the way. Boom, 99. Got our achievement. Cultivator 4 gets us 10k runex. 25 more Torstals. And a crystal key. Boom. Alright, so the way I've been doing things is um, I'm going to get a 99, do a double XP scroll of agility, probably bring some staminas, uh, 99, double XP scroll of agility, and so on. I think the next 99 I'm going to go for is fire making because that one is tedious, but I mean, ultimately it's harmless, kind of like construction, except I know for sure I have the supplies for 99 um, fire making. XP and two staminas, because that'll be enough time. All right. So you guys with the next 99. Another 99 in the same night coming in. And there we go. 99 fire making gets us two more achievements. Where is it? Ah, pyrotechnician. One gets me some extra magic logs. Three gets me a point mystery box and another crystal key. One K rune X. All right, and that puts us to one fifty nine K. I'm still conflicted on what I want to do with rune X. I th don't know if I want to go for the golden cannon yet or uh, the backpack. But uh, Jesus, we're blazing through these things. Uh, next up, God, kind of want to just get mining out of the way, you know, because mining is a super easy one, because I just get my rune pickaxe out, equip it, put the secateurs back. This one is going to be terrible, though. Uh, go to granite. And, wait, talk to Miner. Oh, you can, 
Huh, I did not know that you can trade in ores for the granite, but you just mine here. Granite is the f fastest XP in the game. Oh god, it's too... Ugh. It's 2k XP per drop with XP items. That is gross. Uh, probably going to do like maybe 85 mining for the next achievement, then do my agility scroll, and then, yeah. I just want to note that, uh, well, t it, it get, I guess it was technically today, it was at like midnight the update threat actually went out, but um, the thieving daily has been made worthwhile again because you get an untradeable Norda scroll from it. This was like the worst part of the daily changes, honestly, so I'm super glad that's back. Also, mining is terrible. <laughs> uh, like, how terrible is it? Well, uh, I'm going to withdraw the mist. Oh, wow, I'm actually out of mystics. Okay. Uh, the catalyst tokens I have. And I'm going to claim the level 80 achievements. 80, not 85. I was thinking uh, rune ore. But, uh, and I'm going to use a friggin' lamp on it because, oh my god, this is terrible. Like, with an XP scroll, I get 4k per granite. Um, the way granite mining works, by the way, is you mine 20, you talk to the miner, uh, you trade in 20 for 10 runite ore, rinse and repeat. And my god, it's terrible. Like, okay, farming was tedious, but this is like, I don't even know. Who dropped a bunch of coal? Where did they get the coal from? <sighs> but yeah. More than likely, this is going to be the last 99 of the video. Just because I want to get something out before Christmas. Mining is shit. Let's go for a, a chest roll. Am I? I don't think I'm at. Let's see. One, two, three, four. I think this is roll four. Five out of ten I need. I got a Santa wizard hat. Increases damage of... Okay, so that's useful for um, the uh, uh, Frost Jad, at least. What's the current event, anyway? Oh boy, everyone's favorite. <laughs> Yeah, people are not fans of the Magic Tree one. Yeah, to give you an idea, I'm at 160 runite or this, like... I, I, I'm having trouble forcing myself to go through the garbage process of mining. Ugh, so, uh... Yeah, I do not have a ton of rune ore. How many rune ore do I have total? I'm gonna have, like, a couple thousand by the end of this. Ugh. I hate mining so much. Ugh. Like, I hate mining so much. I'm gonna do 15 minutes of agility right now. Alright, so I'm gonna do something that might be kind of stupid, but, uh, I noticed that Marks of Grace, you can buy, uh, lamps with. And lamps are affected by dull XP and XP affecting gear. So I'm actually going to be spending these lamps on uh, mining. Because mining is worse. 
and agility. And I know it's only 11k, but I'm just considering it to be free experience in the worst skill in the game. Uh, you might argue over oh, the rune, rune, rune crafting, but uh, at least with rune crafting, you can work towards something useful. Where agility, it's like there's the graceful outfit. I'm going to the barbarian course because there were people at the wildy course, and I am a scared little boy, much like John Mulaney. Uh, but yeah. Why did I save the worst skills for last, anyway? I'm considering leaving range for like the very last and just grinding Zora for 99 range. But I don't know how much Zora I can stand. So it might be like, you know, get to 97 at Zora and then just use my Chinchapas from Hunter at Bandits. Uh, I am going to be so glad when the leveling process is over and I can just focus on grinding PBM. So, because of how crappy those lamps actually are... Uh, I'm finishing graceful. And I need to stop setting arbitrary goals before I allow myself to sleep, but... I need... let's see, I have... I believe I need the cape and gloves. Yes. Gloves are 125. Cape is 150. We've completed the Amazing Grace achievement, which is the reason I did it. Which I believe is under hard, which gives us 25k runex. 10 stamina, which is nice, I guess, and an epic crystal key. Oh boy. So, that leaves us with 11 more achievements until Requisitor, which unlocks the achievement guild for us. We will get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 achievements for maxing. So that means we're going to need three more. Uh, let's see. I can probably make it like these mini boss achievements. Like, Smoke Devil is super easy. I could do the Chompy Bird one, too. Oh, and I forgot the Divine Arcanical Mind, too. So yeah, we're gonna have, we will easily have all the achievements we need. Um, how many do I need for that? No, I need 200 more kills, that's not happening. <laughs> oh, I can camp uh, Abbey Demons for some extra whips and an Abyssal Head for in the max guild. Or is that the achievement guild? Yeah, I'm not worried about having the achievements after maxing. Uh, agility sucks, by the way. Oh my god, it's almost over. I am three laps away from finishing agility and never having to come back to this freaking course until... Oh, I don't know. There's probably going to be some update to add more items to the Mark of Grace shop, but I don't care. I don't need to come here for stamina as they come from bosses and mid-level monsters and... <sighs> and I'm actually going to start end with exactly 450 marks of grace in my inventory, which is kind of amusing. And this is going to be the last clip of the video. I have been hating my time while doing this course. It's 30k XP per lap, 
and this is the course you do from like level 52. So, yeah, you do an obscene amount of agility here. <sighs> but it's almost done. It's almost done. <laughs> oh, and I might even get two mining levels from the lamps. Freaky, I know. Uh, you know what? Let's do this in a symbolic way. Let's go back to the gnome course. And finish this. Oh, damn. There we go. Acrobatics for 99 agility. <sighs> Another 12k Runex points. Let's see, put that into the cosmetic tab. Just buy all of the lamps. Oh, it actually just sends them to the bank. That's cool. And yeah, I know you should. I should go ahead and just rune coin these lamps, but alternatively, I could put them into mining. I like how they give random amounts of XP for some reason. There's one level. I hope the post Christmas update adds shooting stars. Because mining is pretty terrible as it is. Like, you get 2k XP from the highest um, ore rock, and you only get one per rock. Oh my god. Okay, I'm just gonna coin the rest of these lamps. This is not even worth it. No. And I don't have any other coinable items that I want to coin, do I? No, no, I do not. Go ahead and pull out the good old Ring of Greed, because that is an amazing item to have. So, I don't know what I'm going to do for the next episode. I Obviously, I want to work towards max and everything, but um, I'm up to 2,500. Is there anything I can get for 2,500 that I care about getting for 2,500? Uh, let's see. Already have Ring of Greed. Grand Loading Bag is 37k. Catalytic is 15k. Yeah, no, no. 
Uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and, uh, during Nardis Sarcophagus events and Zora events, focus on taking part in the winter event. Um, especially because there is the untradeable Narda teleport now. And obviously I'm going to keep doing, you know, this for the lamp, this for the crystal key and point box, um, this for the crystal key. I'm going to keep going for crystal keys and stuff from dailies, uh, and record opening sprees. But, man, we are so close to maxing, though, because mining is the last actually bad skill, because rune crafting is... You get huge experience drops, so it feels more satisfying to do. Um, construction, super easy. And Hunter, I have the Falconry Glove. The only th kind of thing that's kind of, you know, a thing is needing to grind out charms from fire shades. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. Happy holidays, and r really, I mean it. Thank you for watching. It means a lot to me that you guys enjoy these videos so much. Um, yeah, this clip is being recorded the day it's actually being uploaded. So, uh, see you in game, maybe.